Hi, I'm JD Conroy. I'm a tour director with American Classic Tours. Today, we're going to take a look at the top 15 destinations every American must see. The first tour we're going to talk about on our list is America's Majestic National Parks. And we call this tour American Majesty because it features three of America's grandest, oldest national parks. Grand Tetons National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and Glacier National Park. Some highlights on this tour include when we're in the Grand Tetons area, we'll take a a float trip down the Snake River. We'll take a gondola ride to the top of Rendezvous Mountain, and you'll have some free time to explore the charming upscale western town of Jackson Hole. In Yellowstone, we'll see Yellowstone's unique geothermal features such as the Grand Prismatic Spring, Mammoth Hot Springs, and of course Old Faithful, uh, the Yellowstone Falls. And then in Glacier, we'll take a ride on the famous Going to the Sun Road to you know witness the spectacular scenery of Glacier National Park. The major highlight or the must-see attraction of this tour is definitely the wildlife, especially at Yellowstone National Park, which might be the best place to see wildlife in the lower 48 or continental United States. We'll be on the lookout for bison, for bears, for mountain goats, and much more. The second destination on our list is the Great Pacific Northwest. Now, of all the tours we offer here at American Classic, this one to the Pacific Northwest uh, offers perhaps the best combination of natural beauty and fascinating cities. And when you look at a map, it's easy to see why. We're going to be traveling along the beautiful Pacific Northwest coastline from Seattle to Portland to San Francisco. Some tour highlights include Chihuly Garden and Glass. Uh, we'll take a cruise on Puget Sound. We'll visit Mount St. Helens, the site of the historic uh, volcanic eruption of 1980. We'll tour the Columbia River Gorge region where we'll see Crown Point, Multnomah Falls, Mount Hood. We'll take a guided tour of Portland featuring its beautiful Rose Garden. Uh, we'll visit two coastal lighthouses on this tour, the Yaquina Head Lighthouse and the Hasita Head Lighthouse. We'll take a dune buggy ride on the Oregon Dunes uh, National Recreation Area. We'll visit California's Redwood Coast to see the gigantic, awe-inspiring redwoods. We'll tour the uh, Sonoma Valley region, the birthplace of the robust California wine industry. And the must-see attraction of this tour is probably the dramatic cliffs, the beautiful drives, um, the dreamy overlooks of the Pacific Northwest coastline. We're going to move from the West Coast to the East Coast to explore the third destination on our list, which is Cape Cod and Boston. Now, this tour has actually been our most popular tour over the last five years here at American Classic, and it's easy to see why. It's filled with colonial history, gorgeous seascapes, and really interesting history about President John F. Kennedy and the Kennedy family. Some highlights on this tour include Plymouth, which of course is where the Pilgrims landed on the Mayflower in 1620. We'll tour the Cape's uh, two islands, beautiful islands, Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. We'll take a full day guided tour of the Cape. Uh, we'll tour Boston and Lexington and Concord. Lexington, of course, is where the shot heard around the world, the shot that started the uh, Revolutionary War was fired. Now, with all this being said, the must-see attraction on this tour has to be Boston, Boston's Freedom Trail. So much of our nation's great history was written right here on this trail in Boston. Next up, we have Alaska. And what I like about our Alaska tour is it gives you a chance to see the state from all angles. What do I mean by this? We'll see Alaska by land as we journey deep into its interior aboard our motor coach. We'll see Alaska by river as we take a paddle wheel cruise down the chain of river. We'll see Alaska by train as we cut across some of its most rugged, untamed wilderness. And we'll see Alaska by sea as we cruise through its inside passage aboard a Holland America cruise ship. And because we see Alaska from all these different angles, you'll get a perfect view of what makes this state so special. You'll see huge mountains, gigantic glaciers, dramatic fjords, quiet lakes, and more. We'll also put you in the best position possible to see Alaska's abundant wildlife. We'll be on the lookout for harbor seals, killer whales, bighorn sheep, moose, grizzly bears, and more. Some other tour highlights include a gold dredge tour. Uh, we'll see Mount Denali and Denali National Park. Uh, you'll do a meet and greet with a, an Alaskan dog sled team. We'll see Mendenhall Glacier. We'll go on a whale watching cruise. Uh, we'll visit Misty Fjords National Monument. And of all these things, I'd have to say the must-see attraction is probably cruising through Alaska's Inside Passage to see its amazing glaciers um, and its just dramatic, beautiful scenery. 
Our fifth destination is New Orleans, and New Orleans is a fascinating place. It's a true American melting pot. And that's because the three major world superpowers during the colonial era, the Spanish, the French, and the English, all at various points set up shop here in New Orleans and left behind uh, some of their cultural traditions for us to enjoy today. Some major highlights we'll see on this tour, we'll take a guided tour of New Orleans' historic French Quarter and see some of this beautiful French and Spanish style of architecture. We'll tour Mardi Gras World where they make the floats each year for Mardi Gras. We'll visit the New Orleans School of Cooking to learn how to make Cajun food and to try some Cajun food as well. Uh, we'll have co coffee and beignets at the Cafe du Monde. We'll take a guided tour of the Huzma House Plantation. We'll take a dinner cruise aboard the SS Natchez on the Mississippi River. We'll visit the National World War II Museum. And I gotta say the must-see attraction or experience um, of this tour is our four night stay at the luxurious and the beautiful Hotel Monteleone in the heart of the French Quarter. Uh, it's a charming, elegant hotel and it's really nice that you only have to unpack your bag once on this tour. Next up we have New York City and what can I say, it's the Big Apple. Everybody's gotta see it. Some highlights we'll take in on this tour. We'll see Times Square, Wall Street, uh, Central Park. Uh, we'll tour Ellis Island, we'll see the Statue of Liberty and we'll visit the 9-11 Memorial. The must-see attraction of this tour is when we offer a tour to New York City, we always offer three Broadway shows that are included in the price of your tour. Next up, we have the Southwest National Parks. Now, folks, I've led around 70 tours since I started at American Classic Tours four years ago, and this is my favorite American Classic Tour, and there's two reasons for this. The first is it features five national parks. Yeah, that's right, five national parks in just nine days. Arches National Park, Canyonlands National Park, Grand Canyon National Park, Bryce Canyon National Park, and Zion National Park. The second reason I really enjoy this tour is that it features multiple experiential hotels, hotels that are attractions in and of themselves. Um, the first is the Five Star Grand America Hotel in Salt Lake City, the Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab, uh, the North Rim Lodge of the Grand Canyon pictured here. Our lodge is literally on the Grand Canyon. And then we end our tour at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Some other tour highlights include Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, Lake Powell, uh, the Glen Canyon Dam, the Navajo Bridge, and the Vermilion Cliffs, and more. I gotta say, the must-see attraction of this tour is probably Monument Valley, which is pictured here. These three iconic Mitten Buttes, um, they're kind of a symbol of the American West. To finally see this in person was just amazing. Next up, we have French Canada, Montreal, and Quebec. And what makes this tour so special is it's basically like going to Europe without having to fly across the Atlantic. More than any other place in North America, Old Town Montreal and Old Town Quebec feel like Europe. Uh, some highlights we'll take in on this tour. We'll visit St. Anne de Beaupre, the St. Joseph's Oratory, uh, the Quebec Parliament Building, the Old Citadel in Quebec. We'll visit the Notre Dame Basilica, Old Town Montreal, the Montmorency Falls, and we typically offer this tour in October so we can catch some of uh, Montreal and Quebec's beautiful fall foliage. The must-see attraction on this tour is we stay for a few nights at the world-famous, beautiful Chateau Frontenac, that huge, majestic hotel pictured here. Next up, we have Hawaii, and the real draw of this tour is we offer it every January and February, and it's a chance for you to escape the winter cold to Hawaiian tropical paradise. Hawaii, of course, is one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. And our tour to Hawaii features three of the Hawaiian islands, Kauai, Oahu, and Maui. Some highlights that we'll take in on this tour is we'll take a guided tour of Honolulu, we'll visit the Iolani Palace, the Pearl Harbor Memorial, Punchbowl National Cemetery, we'll visit the Waimea Canyon, known as the Grand Canyon of the Pacific, the Opeka'a Falls, we'll the Fern Grotto, we'll take a cruise on the Waialua River. We'll visit the Iao Valley and the Iao Needle. We'll visit Haleakala National Park. And we'll take a whale watching uh, cruise off the coast of Lahaina. The main highlight of this tour, I would say, is that it features three luxurious oceanside res resorts. The Sheridan Waikiki, the Marriott Kauai, and the Westin Maui. Next up, we have New Mexico, and New Mexico is one of America's most overlooked tra travel destinations. Not only is it beautiful in terms of its scenery and topography, but it is one of the most culturally and historically rich destinations uh, you can visit in America. And a big reason for that is 
because New Mexico lied at the end of the El Camino Real and the Santa Fe Trail, two of the early important trade routes in North America. And because of that, many cultures crossed paths here and left behind a distinct culture, uh, interesting architecture, and delicious cuisine. The tour highlights include a four-night stay at the Tamaya Resort, which is pictured here, butts up to the beautiful Sandia Peak mountain range. It's a lovely resort, and of course, you'll enjoy clean, comfortable, modern accommodations. We'll take a guided tour of Santa Fe, We'll see the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis, the Loretto Chapel and the Miraculous Staircase. We'll visit Pecos National Historic Park. We'll take a guided tour of Old Town Albuquerque. Uh, we'll visit the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. We'll visit the Acoma Pueblo. And the must-see attraction on this tour is definitely the New Mexico Balloon Fiesta. This happens every October. Hundreds of balloons go up in the air each morning at the same time. It's an absolute spectacle that every American must see. Next up, we have the beautiful California coast. On this tour, we're gonna to travel from Los Angeles all the way up to San Francisco on California's beautiful Highway 1, perhaps the most famous scenic drive in the world. Some highlights we'll take in on this tour. Uh, we'll visit Santa Monica and the Santa Monica Pier, which was the end of the famous Route 66. Uh, we'll tour Santa Barbara. We'll see the old Santa Barbara Mission. Uh, Hearst Castle, uh, Big Sur, Monterey. We'll take a ride on the 17-mile uh, drive where we'll see the Lone Cypress, Pebble Beach Golf Course, uh, Sea Lions as well. And we'll end our tour in San Francisco. The must-see attraction on this tour is definitely the scenic drive on Highway 1 and the scenic overlooks that you'll take in as we travel along California's beautiful coast. Next up, we have our Chesapeake Bay and Colonial Virginia getaway. Now, we say that this is a patriotic pilgrimage that every American should take. Uh, more than any other tour we offer, this tour is jam-packed with history. Let's take a look at some of the tour highlights. We'll visit Baltimore's Fort McHenry, the birthplace of the Star Spangled Banner. We'll take a guided tour of the charming town of Annapolis. We'll take a guided tour of the U.S. Naval Academy. We'll cruise on the Chesapeake Bay and we'll uh, take a drive on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. We'll visit the old Cape Henry Lighthouse, Colonial Williamsburg. Uh, we'll visit Yorktown, the site of the historic Battle of Yorktown. We'll visit Jamestown, of course, the first uh, English settlement in America. We'll visit Thomas Jefferson's Monticello home, which sits beautifully in the hills of Virginia. We'll take a guided tour of Washington, D.C., and we'll visit George Washington's Mount Vernon home, which sits majestically on the Potomac River. The must-see attraction on this tour is definitely the Virginia International Tattoo. And what this is, is every year, drill teams, uh, dance teams, military bands, and singers from around the world gather in Nor Norfolk, Virginia for this amazing military show. It's an absolute spectacle. The next destination on our list is the Canadian Rockies. And simply put, the Canadian Rockies are probably the most scenic place in North America, if not the most scenic place in the world. Some things that we'll be taking in on this tour uh, include Banff. We'll visit Banff National Park and the Valley of the Ten Peaks on Moraine Lake. We'll visit the Chateau Lake Louise on Lake Louise. We'll take a snow coach ride uh, on the Columbia Icefields Glacier. Uh, we'll visit Athabasca Falls. We'll visit Jasper National Park, where we'll see Lake Moline and Spirit Island. We'll be on the lookout for moose, bighorn sheep, lynx, and other wildlife as we travel along these national parks. And we'll visit the coastal city of Vancouver. We'll take a ferry ride to Victoria, where we'll visit uh, the beautiful Bouchard Gardens. The must-see attraction on this tour is definitely a ride aboard Rocky Mountaineers, uh, scenic train. We'll be enjoying gold leaf service on our train ride. If you look at this diagram here, gold leaf service means we'll enjoy a bi-level glass dome luxury coach for panoramic viewing, which is pictured right here. You see how the whole top of the train car is glass. This is very important so you can take in that beautiful scenery you're traveling through. Um, we'll be cutting through rugged wilderness, um, beautiful past glacial lakes and rivers. It's just beautiful scenery, but it's more than just the scenery aboard Rocky Mountaineer. Uh, the, we'll enjoy amazing service, afternoon wine and cheese, morning scones and coffee, uh, and gourmet dining made by executive chefs, as you can see here, and of course, some delicious dessert as well. 
Next up, we have our tour to the southern Colonial Coast. We'll be visiting two cities on this tour, Charleston and Savannah. Let's take a look at some of the highlights on this tour. Uh, we'll take a guided tour of Charleston aboard a carriage, and we'll take in Charleston's unique and beautiful architecture. We'll visit Pineapple Fountain. We'll take a guided tour of Fort Sumter. We'll visit the Drayton Hall Plantation. We'll take a guided tour of Beaufort, South Carolina, and see its beautiful antebellum homes. We'll take a tour of Paris Island Marine Base. We'll visit Hilton Head, where of course you'll have some time on the beach, and we'll do a dolphin watching cruise. Um, we'll visit Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. And we'll take a guided tour of Savannah, where we'll see the Forsyth Fountain. The must-see attraction on this tour is we're going, we go every year in March, when the azaleas are in full bloom, and to see these beautiful areas of the country when they're in bloom is really special. The last destination on our list is California National Parks, okay? This features three national parks, Yosemite National Park, Sequoia National Park, and Kings Canyon National Park. Some highlights that we'll take in on this tour is we'll visit Sacramento, we'll take a tour of Sacramento or California State Capitol Building, uh, we'll visit Old Town Sacramento, uh, we'll see the Sierra Nevada mountain range as we travel along to these different national parks. We'll see America's or the world's two largest trees, the General Sherman tree and the General Grant tree. Uh, we'll be on the lookout for black bears. There's a lot of black bears in this part of California. And then we'll finish our tour in San Francisco. San Francisco, of course, is a fascinating city, a city of many icons, right? The trolleys, uh, the painted ladies, uh, the crazy curvy Lombard Street. And the must-see attraction on this tour, though, has to be Yosemite National Park. Yosemite all around uh, kind of has it all in terms of what you're looking for when you're visiting a national park. Beautiful scenery. It has these huge rocky cliffs, uh, waterfalls, uh, and more. It's just a beautiful park. If you're interested in joining us on any of our tours, here's how it works, okay? If you're from the Chicagoland area, your tour will begin with a free home pickup at your front door. Your limousine driver will bring you to the airport where you'll be met curbside by an American Classic Tour staff member who will lead you inside to a private group airline check-in where you'll meet your tour director and the rest of your group. And your airfare is included. You'll fly with your tour director to your destination and along the way, basically everything is included. Your lodging, most meals, all attractions, tips, admissions, basically anything you can think of, luggage handling, anything you can think of up is included up front in the price of your tour. Now, if you're not from the greater Chicagoland area, we offer what we call land-only packages where you can uh, purchase your own airfare and fly into the destination and meet your tour director at the destination. Uh, we'll just take the airfare out of the cost of your tour. Um, so if you have any questions or you'd like to make a reservation, you can call us at 847-548-3333, or you can visit our website at amclassictours.com.